welcome to another video on my channel. Thanks for joining me today. We're on our way to the Southern Bus Terminal to do some budget travel, guys. We're headed down to Takeg. Check this out. It's a gloomy day here in BNTN. This guy's holding a mattress or something in the back of that truck. But this is just the beginning of our trip to the south to start the digital nomad visa process. Very exciting. So join us on this journey. I Louis is being a real gentleman and taking me over to the bus station. Like we said, this is a budget travel experience. So we're taking a bus. I need a lift over to the bus station, save a couple of dollars. We're making our way, guys. Let's go. It looks like it is definitely going to rain today. But we will be on our way and shouldn't slow us down too much. We're looking at a four hour drive, possibly six. I've seen different numbers when I was researching things, so let's see. Stop for some food. Wouldn't skip that. What a big noodle shop here. He said, Louis said, that it was really good, so we stopped even though there's construction. It ain't bad. It's very loud of us. Stop and eat in a construction zone. A very humid day, but this food is it's on the money. Very good. Boom. Don't lie. Pet lie, it's hard, no? In pet hat. As in Vietnam, is a staple of everyday life here in Laos. And a big dining hall type of restaurant, noodle shop, is very common to be. And usually, if you take a look, in the morning like this, very full, if it's, especially if it's good. So keep your eyes peeled. Most people can handle a pho. Most people enjoy a noodle, a noodle soup. You can put whatever ingredients you want inside. Make it whatever flavor you're looking for. We got salt, MSG. Uh, you got dry pepper, chili peppers. You got roasted chili peppers, everything. Taste the broth, see how it is. Then spice it up however you like. And there you got your breakfast here in Laos. Guys, I have to say, I admit that I told him to, let's find another place because I know this intersection. It's really busy. And they're also doing construction. But he said, now these two restaurants are actually really good. So we stopped. And I'm sure glad we did. The construction stopped out of nowhere. And yeah, they got a bunch of fans on. And it, it's early morning. Well, not early morning, but... Uh, yeah. It's kind of looking like it's going to rain. So it's humid and it's got keeping the fumes out of here. So it's not bad. And look, like I said, you can choose from everything here. This is all for you to put in your soup. Free water. Don't forget. Alright, we're off to the bus station. We gotta get to Takeg.
5,000 for parking. We're just driving around, reading the back of these trucks. A lot of them have signs on. We're trying to find the one that says Take. So, we'll go ask somebody though. He's gonna help me out. Ask. Make sure I get the right price. Looks like he's pointing to over there, so. Okay. There's no van. There's no minivan, it looks like just the bus. Okay. Let's go figure out how much it is. No minivan. That's kind of shit. You just don't know what these buses do. We're on the budget travel. So whatever happens, happens. But I'm not looking to put myself through a living hell of a bus ride. So let's try to get one that's not like gonna stop every freaking little bit. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna get there about seven. We're leaving now. It'll be almost noon by the time we leave. That's what it said online. Oh man, are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Budget travel, it's 200000 so about $10 for the bus. You get a sleeper bed, we'll, I'll show you what it looks like in there. I haven't actually traveled like this since I've been here in Laos. It's been a long time since I traveled like this before when I was in Vietnam. It was the last time, years and years ago now. Okay. That was so nice of him. Let's put my sandals in my bag here and I'll be right back. We'll go buy the ticket. Oh. <laughs> These other guys just stopped me and said that this this bus over here that's Takak. So let's make sure we get the right bus. Man, these buses look pretty old. Good lady, no? Thank you. Good lady. 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 Good Look at all this stuff in the back here. Okay, happy, ticket. So I'm saying, no? No. Hold on. So I'm saying. 10 bucks. Thai, 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 That's good. He said going straight to Takeg, which is 
to my question. <laughs> Anytime you're getting a bus in Asia, it's good to ask, are you going to Taokeg or are you stopping somewhere on the way? Because uh, otherwise you might end up on a 12 hour journey and you thought it was going to be six because they stopped a lot. But uh, we'll update you and see how it goes. I'm going to try to see if I can't find one, I need a hat. Because you know we I love a hat. Uh, and two, oh shoot, are we moving? We're moving. Oh, okay, we're moving over here for people to get in the bus, get on the bus. Uh, let's get some fruit for the journey, right? Yeah, definitely need some fruit for the journey. Hat, fruit, maybe sunglasses. That's the only things I don't have on me for this trip. But we're about to embark on this southern excursion. And I'm stoked. I haven't been to the south. Besides our little trip down to Savannah Kent, this is going to be awesome. We're going to explore around Takiag and then take it from there. But first things first, let's go find... See if I can't find uh, some fruit. One sec. I got off the bus and I think I solved my problem already. There's some guys selling fruit right here. Let's do it. That's what I like to see. Somebody eat out. Oh, but not. But not in there. I got I want some one pineapple, one piece of pineapple, and bagbo. No, I don't there. So one mango and one pineapple for us. He's helping out people here on the bus. <laughs> Selling right to people on the bus. Yeah, I'm gonna get some money for this gentleman. since I've been in Laos a few times, but I went on the train luckily, which is incredible and highly recommended. If you're going up north, take the train. And I take, and then I've rode in private cars and I've drove a motorcycle, so. All of which were very enjoyable. And my least favorite of all is the bus, but we're on a tight budget and that's how we're gonna do it. And we're gonna help you out so you can make your trip a little bit better. So. We got a lot of options here if you're at the southern bus terminal. I'm gonna go see if I can find a hat in there maybe. Over here in the shop after I buy this fruit and we need water. Water. We gave him 50,000. Got our change, 10,000. Let's see if we can't not leave our bag sitting over there. What are we doing? I want to eat this fruit already. Let's go look for... Man, this bus is not going to be moving fast. That's why it's going to take six hours. They got this thing loaded. Got to load it up. Not that those little things are heavy, but... There's a shit ton of stuff in the back, too. Let's see if I can't edit a video while we're on the bus. A video or two of something. Make it productive time. You got like just plain old hats here. I guess that'll work. I had to leave my hats at home, guys. It was time to it's time to put them to rest. I've worn them to death. And I see, you see hats everywhere, but they usually have like a Nike sign on them. Sweet. I love this color, man. This is a dope hat. Hey, come tie you sign on. Hold on, more day ball. Let's see how much it is. Ay. How much you say it is, Miss Asuka? Sweet, it's a. More than 
Sam has. So. So she wants, uh, like, uh, she wants like seven, eight bucks for this hat. Just seems a little much, but maybe I can get two and talk her down. I don't mind. These are gonna fit too. I like the material, it's kind of like, seems like this fake Nike hat would uh, be able to handle the rain. That's what the humidity right now, that's what I'm worried about most. Do we want a blue one? What color should we go for? What do you guys think? Definitely this, I'm partial to that like olive forest green. And then I like a blue, but Puma? Yeah, these aren't bad at all. Get a hat or two. Adidas. Levi's. I would take a black hat, but it's too dang hot, man. Mitigate the heat a little bit. This thing. Okay. I really like the blue Adidas, but hmm. kind of like this color too. Oh, this one's got a cool like feel to it versus the other ones. Wow, it's kind of canvassy. That's sick. So is this one. It's Nike Air. Oh no. Oh lord. What do you guys think? Is this the one for me? I think so. I like this one. This one's sick too. those two make it easy these two just both Nike hats but I mean easy enough she says 150,000 the exchange rate right now is a little over 24 so what are you looking at guys seven dollars but it should be seven dollars so we're gonna have to we're at the bus station so we gotta negotiate a little bit here let's see and the song saying has it, baby. Probably went too high, but that's all right. I went for 250. She won. She was saying 150 for one 300. 250. So 12 bucks instead of 15, we'll see. Sunglasses, you guys will just do it all. She seems like she price a little high though. That's what I had before, no? Simple, simple ray bands. Hmm? All that matters to me is that they don't pinch my fat dome. And that seems to be all right, no? When can they have been taught out? Same time. Same time, see. Do you have a day ball? See, Sam Yang. How are you? Been taught out. Solve 
all these problems right now. Solutions, we got solutions. Sunglasses and hat. Let's see what we're gonna get charged to. It's a uh, It's a little bit It's a little bit of I'm not too pushy with it. So, she didn't discount the sunglasses, but probably should be. If it wasn't the bus station you're buying from somebody off the side of the street, you'd probably pay like maybe 300, 250 for all this, so. Two hats and sunglasses for like 15 bucks. Let's wear what we got. Huh? Let's see. <laughs> Sitting on the railing. I'm gonna go with our olive green nice deep hat. This gun, though. There we go. We're in business. Mom, dying for some fruit and some water. Let's get some water before we make this journey. Maybe the bathroom? Yes, sir. Bathroom checked off. Let's get a water. See. Sorry if I feel like I feel like I'm uh, not being enthusiastic about everything. Things are a little more at the bus station, but that's what happens when you don't prepare ahead of time. So just don't try to purchase things you need at the bus station. Good man. I need to get to my pocket. I think I have ten thousand here. Oh, cute girl. Very cute. Up to ten thousand for water. Fifty, less than fifty cents. Forty cents for a. What, one half liter? 40 cents. Great day. I think I'm good. I got, I got supplies, water, fruit. We're gonna have to stop somewhere on the way for sure. Probably Pakistan. Almost, almost for sure we're stopping in Pakistan. Somewhere. And then I'll get some food there, I guess. What else would I get? I don't know. I'm not getting on no bus until it's leaving though. So I'll sit here and eat some fruit. Oh. I hear chickens, yo. Oh god. Did I just get the chicken bus? Fuck. Fuck. I hope not. Check my ticket. <laughs> Let this journey 
begin. <laughs> there is definitely chickens below us. As long as there's none up here, these people are eating fish over here. It's gonna be a ride, y'all. <laughs> Totally full, but I'm assuming we'll have more people join. So it's 150,000 for the ticket. I guess the gentleman decided that he needed an extra 50 for me. That's all right. Maybe I'll ask him for it. Maybe not. <laughs> Let him have a 50,000 tip. I just asked these guys because I was like, I just heard the other them tell these other two to pay a 150 a person. Of course, when I got on the bus, I was the first one. The guys like 200. I had a feeling. <laughs> so if you're getting the bus from Vientiane to Takag, it should be 150,000, which is like seven bucks instead of nine bucks. That's okay. These guys work hard, long hours, and, uh, you know, go have a beer on me. You know what I mean? It's all right. We're finally on the way, though. We made our first stop. She's come on here to sell some mangoes. We've only drove down the road maybe an hour or two but we stopped for the bathroom probably my camera fogged up or it's just the screen uh, we stepped off so it got fogged up we've been stopping along the way to pick people up so keep that in mind it might take us six hours to get there maybe longer we'll see but you're definitely gonna have stops along the way with plenty of food options, bathrooms, so no need to worry on that front. like this I got nobody sat next to me plenty of room albeit it may be slow but we got no crying babies nobody's sick the music isn't turned up loud it's not hot we got pretty good right now because that means as we explore down in Takag and further south we're going to be able to see maybe not the full complete extent of the effects of rainy season but we'll get to start to see how beautiful it is once it starts raining the lushness of the land the the all the ripe fruit oh man it's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to get a bike down in Tom Kang and we will go explore. I was gonna bring my bike with me, but I was not sure if I was going to be riding this bus or if it was going to be a minivan. If I knew it was gonna be the if I knew it was the bus, which I will for next time, I, I, I can definitely bring my bike and just throw it in. But I'll just rent a bike in Tom Kang. It should be like five bucks for the day or something. And I only need it for a day, I think, so. Let's see. Uh, I've seen more than that. How long? Call me Eva. Tell me Eva. Tell me. 
we're asking for all of it. Well, me, you help. We already got some. These ladies just hopped on this stop and they're selling stuff. I am kind of hungry actually for some food, so why not support them? Studying a little bit of Cambodian for the first time since ooh, maybe college, <laughs> and I even like took a moment to look at this. Not that we're going to Cambodia, but you know, as we grow, we'll have more opportunities to be able to go to other places and use the language. So, hey, I got a moment on the bus. May as well do something fun. Lucky I don't have anybody sitting next to me. <laughs> Let's take a look I'm on my lap here. This, this fried pork's pretty good. And then here we got the classic eggs where they remove the inside and then they mix it with the um what exactly, but they mix mix it together with you know some seasoning. And then they put it back in the egg, excuse me, and they steam it. They're really delicious. Mmm. Time to chow down. Yum. <laughs> Am I going to be able to do this? I want to show you guys this because I used to actually buy a bunch of these <laughs> and put them in the freezer and then I uh, just throw them in the microwave. That didn't work. Let's see if I can stick the camera in here. They're bouncing everywhere. And then I just toss them in the, the defrost in the microwave. And I have a quick snack. But I'm always on the, the lookout for these because they're just such a quick, easy snack. Instead of just a regular boiled egg, you get these. Hard, regular hard boiled. How much are they usually? Usually like 50 cents to a buck four. Like they'll be on a stick of three. Even a bag of four though for 30, so it's not bad. 30, what? Dollar fifteen, dollar twenty. Four eggs, and have been deliciously seasoned and steamed to perfection. Most people would not buy this stuff from the people on the bus. Just they can pop on and then they'll pop off at the next little stop. I mean, usually they're not stopping that close together, but in this situation, ladies popped on and popped off. And I know it'll look scary. And I was looking at her stuff 
and she had like dried uh, dried lung and some different things that I wasn't really interested in. This one I wasn't sure it it looked a little bit curious, but then I asked her, she just said it was grilled pork and it is three levels. You got the layer of fat, the skin fat, and the meat. It's really tasty. And then the eggs, like come on. I just spent three bucks. I didn't even get off the bus. We've got more than enough to fill us up. Usually I just buy fruit, but now we can get more work done. Check it out, y'all. We're on the bus. I'm absolutely in my zone. Editing a video with you guys, and let me tell you, you may not be able to see out the window here, but we're starting to get into some mountains. And we've got the rain here with this with the storm and so you got it's all foggy cloudy around the mountains here we go yes Wow first thing you notice compared to my video from April, the beginning of April, right? When I went down to Savannah Kid, everything's dry. It's just dust. Now look at it. Now look at it. Check it out. It's becoming the jungle we know of Lao. I'm excited. Okay, <laughs> voila. <laughs> We made it to Chakeg. That wasn't a bad ride at all, but I am absolutely desperate for the toilet. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Ate, ate some different food than normal, and we are in emergency mode, so let's go. My god. Here's the reality of travel for y'all. Any of you that are regular travelers know. What is the worst fear when you're traveling? You nailed it. The shits. The fear of the shits is monumental when you're traveling. And I felt it about 45 minutes before we got here. I was like, oh man, I've been uncomfortable for the last hour or two. This is not good, this is not good. And sure enough, we gotta go through the last thing you'd hope to go through when you're traveling in a country like Lao, the bus station bathroom. And this is what we're dealing with, y'all. Let me show you your experience. <laughs> if this occurs, you're gonna be left with a squatter. If you are not all that flexible or familiar with squatting, you will then be pretty much squatting with your feet on the ground over the toilet and your hands spread across the wall to help hold yourself up and then afterwards you've got a bucket with a bowl in it and water to wash your booty hole and clean the toilet and as far as wash as far as drying yourself off well that's why i always bring a little towel with me or some TP, some toilet paper. Mostly I usually just have like a small little, what do you call those towels? Like the swimmer towels that dry off real fast because you never know when you need one. Goodness gracious. Well, that's a good way to uh, break a sweat. <laughs> now let's wait for our ride. Oh man, my stomach. I shouldn't have ate all that lob and the yum all this morning. I knew I was risking it, but can't help myself. Big old bowl. I had a huge serving of lob bet and yum y'all. And uh, yeah, that was wicked the last bit here. <laughs> Let me call my rag.
Ayo. Ayo. Baiklah. Tan sawe kau mahap senen no. Kilot tak keng. Where are we going? We're going to the guest house first.